Here's what I think people are going to make a mistake on. I think investors right now, you have a lot of investors that are bearish, especially on the retail side. I think the AAII you know, survey was like only 25% were bullish, which is a, is a contrary indicator. It means if, if most individual people are bearish, it means the market's going to go up. But I think what you're going to see is a lot of people making mistakes like reaching for consumer staples or trying to find some bond alternative in a so-called safe stock. There are no safe stocks. So I think that this is normal. I think that the, the tech is still leading. I think that, uh, you know, I thought that we'd have more of a sell-off, mm -hmm. right? I think that this is the time to actually watch the Fed. I hate Fed watchers. I think they waste their time. But my God, I'm all interested in this June meeting. I'm, I'm always watching the Fed. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I think you've been wasting your time. But now you're not wasting your time, Brian. And, and I think the reason why there's a 20% consensus that the Fed will cut, I think that that should be an 80% consensus that the Fed will cut. In June. In June. I mean, and, and this idea that June is a live meeting, we have not definitely gonna... been poo-pooing it. Well, because they're not going to cut rates in June, so fine. You know, you but can. They're going to they're going to make comments, and they're going to. They did it today. Right. They did it today, though. Yeah, but they're going to start talking about that Fed fund rates yeah. getting ahead of the ten year, mm -hmm. and how Powell has said in the past and consistently that could mean the policy is too tight. Now, I think that this rally is going to keep going right now, right? Because there's nothing to stop it. But I think when we start seeing a new high and we start getting closer to. 2980 is what all these technicians love. And for me, it's 3,000 because that's what retail investors, they like big round numbers. Mm -hmm. I think that's a point where you got to pull back a little bit because there's going to be some type of retest to December. And it doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason. It's going to be a trade deal that nobody will like. Also, you know, I've got clients in manufacturing. We have not yet seen the effect of this China debacle really seep into the economy. And I think it's going to take another six months. But when people yeah. start to realize in these flyover states, because I mean, I've got clients that have serious problems with this tariff stuff. Yeah.